close your eyes and try to be on friendly terms with your breath. It's what keeps you alive. And it's been keeping you alive all this long. At some point it's going to end. But while you're living together, try to be on good terms. Because if the breath flows well in the body, it's going to be good for the physical health of the body. And it gives the mind a good place to stay. If you're not on friendly terms, it's like having a disagreement in your house and you go running out of the house. And that way you leave a mess behind, and at the same time you're out there exposed to all the elements, wandering around in your thoughts. You come back and it's, not, it's still not pleasant in the house. If you live that way, it's, it, well, it's not a good way to live. You want to be able to inhabit your house, be on good terms with everybody inside, and even when there are pains, realize that you can use the breath to help. If you can't alleviate the pain, at least put the mind in a better position where it's not swallowed up by the pain. This is a tendency we all have, is that once a pain comes into the body, it, it demands our attention, or we focus a lot of our attention on it. And most of that attention is designed either to push the pain away or to run away from it. So we try to ignore it and go off someplace else away from the present moment, but the pain doesn't get dealt with. And you come back, and again, it's not a good place to stay. But if you work with the breath, you realize you've got a friend in the house. And with that friend, you can make sure that the pain doesn't do any damage to the mind. And as we're sitting here meditating, we're strengthening our powers of mindfulness and alertness, which as our, our brains begin to go, we have to work, work extra hard on remembering things and on being alert to what's actually going on. This is the quality of the mind that you want to develop as much as you can. So there's work to be done here, and if you're on good terms with everybody here inside, okay, then you find that you've got friends inside the house to keep things peaceful, keep things running smoothly. And even when things get disturbed, you don't ha you don't have to suffer from it. So it takes some time to get on good terms with the breath. Learn how to use the breath to energize you when you're feeling lazy or tired, calm you down when you're feeling wired to soothe the parts of the body that are sore, and to soothe the mind so it's happier to stay here where all the action is going on. That way, when you've got a friend, okay, the friend can really help you. That's what the Buddha means by taking yourself as a refuge. You have to depend on your own inner resources. Well, this is how you develop them so that they do become dependable.